Welcome to UVC Progasis. I'm Simpson. In this chapter, we talk about the TCP protocol. You know, in the world of the computer, we do not see several protocols with specific functions that make it different from another. But a large part of them needs the particular protocol to make their transmitting data secure and during the fluctuation. That little is well known protocol. Oh, not far. Just here, TCP protocol. The TCP is a transmission control protocol. The goal behind the TCP as the teacher is to see the data across the internet between the computing devices, to subdivide the data so that it will be processed most easily. Enhance the security of the message between both sender and the receiver. That means to keep the data integrated. Along these girls, a TCP has to track down an algorithm. So, to understand that algorithm, let's ask a simple question like this. How TCP works? Suppose that a two processing wants to change data from one to another. Being a connection-oriented communication, a TCP implemented to both machines. Let's call the senders TCP, TCPS, and TCPR for the receiver. If they fix a network plans in the middle that determine the IP layer. So when the message is sent, TCPS will drive the message from and in single block and then divides it into small packets. Pass the packet to the IP layer and add this layer IP on to discover the right path and for what the data to the destination. If data reach its destination, the TCP error must collect and gather all packets. Well, after that, it receives the receiver application for its port and then make a deposit. That's why TCP protocols is very necessary or is necessary for data processing on the network domain. So now, I have a question for you. Why TCP protocol needs to divide the data into pieces or packets when they are ready to reach the IP layer? I'm expecting your answer very quickly. So thank you and I'll see you soon.